Nina Aquila Legal Eagle is an indie game developed by Tanuki Sama Studios. It's a hybrid cross between a graphic adventure and visual novel, revolving around a defence attorney tasked with proving the innocence of her clients for crimes they may or may not have committed. One thing that struck me was how the game successfully captures the feel of the Ace Attorney games, but I wouldn't call it a carbon copy. You play as the title character of Nina, defence attorney, and almost instantly it's hard not to fall in love with her. Not only are her curves freaking enviable, I mean seriously why am I not built like this, but she is so cleverly written that her personality really does shine. She's loyal, she's smart, thinking on her feet on more than one occasion, but she's also relatable in many ways. In fact, most of the characters in the game are well written, bursting with personality which is impressive considering the game doesn't really have much voice acting and most of the weight of the story relies on a clever script and catchy dialogue which I feel that the game has executed very well. Set in the fictional city known as Fledge City, the game consists of three chapters, each one revolving around different cases. Chapter 1 serves as somewhat of a tutorial level thrown you headfirst into the courtroom where Nina must defend a cosplayer accused of arson. Here you're briefly taught one of the game's mechanics. Chapter 2 sees the player defending a client accused of murder, while Chapter 3 has the player defend three street racers accused of causing the death of a fourth. But don't assume that the majority of your time is spent in the courtroom, as the gameplay is quite varied. You also investigate the crime scene and speak to witnesses, participate in certain activities like competing in a card game to access places and people with key evidence, on top of obviously defending your client in court. The game is very stylized, paying homage to the cutesy pixelated RPGs of the past. And it should be noted that the game actually comes from the developer's past experiences of living in Japan as well as a lifelong love of anime and manga, which is clearly evident when you look at the many easter eggs and references that are scattered about in the game. And although I've never been to Japan and I'm very picky about what anime I watch these days, I can really appreciate the various nods to other franchises, and I'm sure that others will do too. Surprisingly, the game was made on a shoestring budget, which is impressive when you take into the account how solid this game actually is. As I mentioned, I love the art style, not really unique, but it truly complements the gameplay and the clever script, the latter I feel that you need a talent for. My only complaint is that the game isn't widely available on other consoles. Currently you can only download this on Steam, but I would really love to see this released on the Nintendo Switch as I would love to play this on the go, especially considering I won't be able to actually buy a Steam Deck for a fair few years after its release. But again, as the game was created by an indie developer on virtually no budget, there's probably a good reason as to why this is only available on Steam. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really had so much fun playing this game, and the link to purchase this will be in the description box below. And if you like my reviews, consider subscribing to my channel, or alternatively, come chat to me on either Twitter or on Instagram, as I'm fairly active on there too.